Hey guys, Coulter here with Yomega.com, and today I'm going to show you guys the Fireball. Um, if you haven't seen a Fireball before, I'm glad I get to show you the Fireball, because the Fireball is awesome. In fact, it's so awesome, it's been around for, for next to forever. It's been around so long that actually my second yo-yo was a Fireball, and... That was in 2003. It is now 2013 as of this video. And that fireball looked just like this one. However, there's been several updates with the fireball since then. And one of them, they had several different cosmetic updates, which is the overall yo yo itself didn't change, but the design and graphic did, and this is one of them. However, now for 2013 you can get them not only in this type, but also in this little design here. I like this one a lot better. Um, but you'll get a new yo-yo with the old fantastic design. Let me see if I can get that any closer and more. I think that's beautiful. Um, it pretty much tells you all the weights and uh, Little details there, if you want to take a look at that, go ahead and pause the video right here. Um, I'll unwrap this for you right here, and then I'll give you guys a quick demonstration. So, I'm going to peel this open. This is how I like to open my Yomega packaging. Helps if you have nails, which I just clipped mine off just yesterday. So, try and get in the top and... You can actually just crack it open this direction. It's a little more difficult this way, but I find it a little more enjoyable. Or, of course, if you want to, you can just grab some scissors and just cut right along this little edge there. Just go ahead and snap that off very careful if you do that. I have seen some people really cut themselves with scissors. And then of course you can just break all those little itty bitty plastic tack welds all the way down the sides. And I always try and put the front down and I'll show you why. Because you can pull out the yo-yo itself. Set that back here, and then this pretty much has nothing in it, so you can just pretty much throw that away. But there's a little tray that's held in this little side pouch here, and this tray has some good information in it in here, in this little pamphlet, and an extra string. Now the Fireball weighs in at about 52-53 grams, so it's not exactly the lightest looping yo-yo, but it's definitely not the heaviest either. It's right around mid-range. Um, it brings to the plate basically right around, not quite at the baseline, but the next level above. You can actually compete. I've seen people compete with box stock fireballs. They pulled them out of the box and went and played and did competitions with them. But what's on the inside, throwing that off camera there. You have your starburst half, so you can see there's a starburst. There's my ceiling fan. It kind of shows how shiny these yo-yos are. You can actually use it to reflect things in the yo-yo. And you've got a transaxle. Basically what this is is a nylon sleeve that wraps around the axle itself. And that allows it to spin much more freely than a solid axle would. It's not quite as freely as a ball bearing axle, but it spins quite freely. Now to wrap this up, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks. 
Uh, one of the first ones is a lot of people actually don't know how to properly put a string on a transaxle yo-yo. They'll replace their string for the first time and they think they've done it correctly and they're like, oh, it doesn't work, it doesn't come back, it's just awful. I can't believe I ever did that, that was terrible. And it's just that they just didn't put it on right. The It has nothing to do with anything else. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your string, as you normally would, and you're going to unwrap at the bottom, create, open that loop. You're going to put it through the gap as normal, but you're going to twist it, and you're going to put that back over. So now it's doubled around the axle. I personally like to go three times. You can go four times for good measure if you want. But that changes how easily it actually grasps around the axle. And what ends up happening when you don't do that is it spins around the transaxle, doesn't spin as long, and it becomes unresponsive. So when you do that, it allows the transaxle to spin and do the proper work for it. One other little option, two other little things actually of note. One is you can actually put a little bit of Vaseline or yo-yo lubricant on the axle and then put the transaxle back over. That'll help it aid in long life as well as it'll just keep it spinning more smoothly. The next one is you can actually tighten these down just a little bit more, a little bit at a time. No, I'm not really showing that very well on camera, but these nuts still have a little ways to go. So if you're going in this for a looping yo-yo, you can actually close that gap up a little bit more. A little bit more. And then I'll usually un loosen it again. And what that does is it'll release the pressure from the O rings on the lock nuts on the inside of the caps. And just keep going back and forth a little bit at a time. And it brings that gap. You can see on the camera a little bit, but it has actually brought that closer together. And that'll help it play a little more responsively. You can also later upgrade these to be a all the way up to a Raider and even a modified Raider. But in a nutshell, that's the Fireball. Thank you guys for just checking out this review. This is Coulter. I'll see you again next time. One little final thing of business I wanted to bring up is if you are into light up yo-yos and you already love the Fireball, you might want to check out the Spectrum. It is a basically, in essence, a multicolored LED Fireball has an amazing array of colors and designs that it does as it spins, but in its main core, it's actually just a fireball. All the parts are pretty much the same, and it works flawlessly. If you guys want a, fire, a light up fireball, check out the Spectrum. This has been Coulter. I'll see you guys again next time. Thank you.